This could work. Did it. Excellent. I need to find out what happened in the quarry. Where's that elf we hired? Hiya. Have you happened to see an elf around here? Tall, spindly, talks way too much for his own good. Uh, no, I've, I've not seen anyone like that around here recently. No, of course not. That would have been too easy. This is what I get for hiring a tuskless runt. He said he could improve efficiency in Greystone Quarry. What did we get for our trouble? First the fog, then the screams, then nothing. Okay, so you've not heard anything from the quarry? Not a word. And it smells like elf mischief to me. My husband, Chief Ramash, went down into the quarry to look for the elf and find out what happened to our workers. He came back covered in blood. And I can tell you, Ramash doesn't bleed easily. Well, I can always go take a look in the quarry for you. I don't mind. I'd appreciate any help you can provide. After what happened to the chief, the rest of the clan refuses to go anywhere near the quarry. If you can get in there, find out what happened, and make sure the quarry workers are safe. Okay, uh, so tell me more about what happened here. It's all because of that damn city they're building. The king needs stone for Orsinium's walls, for its keeps, for its damn towers. I don't know where quarry overseer Yadurl found the elf, but he claimed he could increase our production tenfold. That's a bold claim. Typical elf. Too clever for his own good. All tricks and hasty maneuvers. But our clan depends on the quarry. It's our livelihood. If we can't determine what happened down there and fix it, the Tumnash clan is finished. So where's the chief now? In the longhouse, tending to his wounds and raging about the troubles that have befallen us. By Malakath's crooked tusk. Chiefs and their howling. He's useless when he's like this. And who are you again? I'm Chief Ramash's forge wife. Trumnash is my clan, and Greystone is our quarry. These recent troubles, on top of the pressure to provide more stone for Orsinium, are beginning to take a toll on us. I tell you, it's enough to make Malakath weep. Okay. Investigate the quarry it is. Shadows. Shadows in the fog. You okay? Ooh, it doesn't, doesn't look okay. It seem okay. Alright, well, I'll take it. We're going down. What are you doing down here? Don't you know that Greystone Quarry is a disaster area? Well, I'm here to find out what happened. What happened? The High Elf. That's what happened. Things were fine for a while. Rock flowed out of the quarry at a record pace. But then we broke into a cavity and the Elf insisted on exploring it. That's when the fog began to roll out of the hole. Fog? It was fog. Thick as stew it was. Chief Ramash and Huntwife Bulgar decided to enter the quarry and find out what happened to the elf and the workers. We went with them. Worst decision I ever made. What happened to the chief? We entered the fog, but we weren't alone in there. There were shadows, things in the fog. We were attacked. I saw the chief run out, covered in blood. Bulgar still down there, looking for her daughter. Last we knew, she was with the elf. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Find the hunt wife and her daughter, and kill as many of those things as you can. But the elf, save the elf from me. Okay, um, so tell me more about the things that attacked you. Like I said, it was dark, foggy. I couldn't make out anything except shapes, shadows in the fog. Even though I couldn't see them clearly, I could hear them clanging around, skittering on sharp claws, and it moved fast, like lightning. Any idea where the fog came from? 
We just entered the cavity when I noticed the strange pipes on the walls. If I had to guess, it was the steam coming out of those pipes that created the fog. Made it impossible for us to see, let alone fight. Those things had no trouble though. Okay. Okay, thanks for that. I see what I can do. So the dwarven things. I also must have broke through here into a dwarven. Okay. Avoid setting that one off. Oh, Cars are everywhere. Oh, another bloody spear thing. Okay, another two. Oh dear me. Okay. Oh no, not the spider. Let's see if we take one at a time. That's a big robot. Dwarven Centurion. Oh, Jesus. Come on. this okay well let's avoid fighting him for now Ah, 
You okay? I thought you were one of those damn machines. You're just lucky I've got the reflexes of a snow bear, or your guts would be decorating the floor. Now, care to explain what you're doing down here? Well, if you must know, I was looking for you. Is this another of my husband's half-hearted rescue attempts? Whatever. I guess I should be grateful. One of those metal spiders took a chunk out of my leg. Nothing too serious, but I can't fight worth a damn. So it's up to you to find my daughter. But how do you know she's still alive? I don't. But I can hope, can I? Besides, I haven't seen her corpse. And she is her father's daughter. Then there's the elf. He knows what he's doing. And has more than a few tricks up his sleeve to deal with the machines. Okay, can you tell me about the high elf? He's a clever bastard. I'll give him that. He knew there was a dwarven ruin down here. And used us to uncover it. We should have been more careful. But he had significantly increased our production. And you know Orsinium. They always want more stone. Okay. Can you tell me about your daughter? Shabon. She's a brave young woman. Took an immediate interest in the High Elf and his fancy ways. The Elf didn't seem to mind. In fact, I think he liked having someone strong and beautiful at his side. You find one, and you'll find the other. Okay. Well, don't you worry. I'll find your daughter. Oh. Tippy toe, tippy toe. Tippy toe round the big robot. Shit. Okay, never mind. Fight, 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 fight. You're not that tough. Just a big hunk of junk. Okay. Okay, some stairs there. Oh God. I'm detected. Oh, okay, fine. Come on then. Oh, I thought that was like the edge of a cliff kind of thing. Oh, she's there.
Oh, thank Trinimac. You're not one of those dwarven Dwemer things. But what are you doing down here? Did you come to help me escape from this damn quarry? I thought the quarry was up above. Our quarry, sure. But the dwarves carved out this quarry centuries ago. It looks like they started down here and were working their way up. Don't ask me what they used the stone for. I don't want to think about that. Okay, but where's the high elf? He told me to stay here while he went to investigate the central structure. It was brave of him to go on his own. I wanted to help him, but I know my limitations. I was trained to deal with animals, not walking forges. Okay, I'll go find him. You stay right here, Shabon. Oh. Please go back to sleep. Please go back to sleep. Oh my god. There you are. Amazing. You were actually able to navigate the Dwemer defenses? You must either be exceptionally strong or exceedingly lucky. Either way, I can make use of that. So, you're the High Elf working with the Orcs? Ah, so you've met them. I really do feel awful about what happened. I offered my help because I suspected that the ruins of Mizendine were down here, but I never expected such powerful defences. This place is remarkable. Defences? You mean the constructs? Yes, but I was referring to the fog. It was a most curious thing. As soon as we unearthed the door to this place, a heavy fog set in and the Dwemer spiders swarmed us. I know how to handle dwarven constructs. The orcs, sadly, do not. So do you have a plan for dealing with the constructs? These Dwemer systems are as sophisticated as they are ancient. I'm not sure we can disable the constructs now that they're fully operational. But we may be able to control them. All we need to do is find the construct control center. <sighs> okay. I guess I'll look for the construct control center. So I need to get up. Oh, okay. Oh, there's two. Come 
Come on, die. Can I get up this way? Yeah. Oh, go away, spider. Okay. Ah, I've got to go through there. Okay, big boy pants on. Charge! Oh my god, it's just everywhere. Okay, here we go. Cross again. Thank the eight. It's amazing how often good research leads to remarkable discoveries. Since we parted, I have come to the conclusion that this is an automated quarry, like the orc pit above, only much more sophisticated. Oh, well, that's an impression, uh, impressive looking machine behind you. Isn't it though? That's what we in the business call a remarkably well preserved. Orb of illumination. I believe this dwarven device may contain the key that allows us to bring Mizendine's defenses under our control. Okay, so how does this orb of illumination work? Think of the device as a gigantic combination lock. These emitters shine light upward towards the various lenses attached to the rings. If you rotate the lenses to a specific orientation, the device should unlock. Okay, so how do we know what the correct orientation is? Trial and error, like any other scientific endeavor. But be sure to keenly observe every rotation of the rings. That's the key to our success. We can manipulate the three kinetic resonators to adjust the lenses and rotate the rings. Follow me. Oh god, okay. Okay, so I've reset the leather lever. Right, 
Right, okay, so that's how that works. Okay, let's start again then. Okay. This could work. Did it. Excellent. This should allow me to control the dwarven constructs. Okay. Fascinating. I never imagined the control mechanism would fit inside so small a space. It will take me some time to master this device. But with it, I'm sure I can suppress the outer defenses and return the quarry to a relatively safe state. Okay, so can I tell the orcs that they, they can reopen the exterior quarry now? Oh yes, it's perfectly safe to work the quarry again. And please give the orcs my deepest and most sincere apology regarding these unfortunate circumstances. So, you're not coming with me? I... I have something I want to try first. Something that will help repay the orcs for my indiscretion. What are you planning? If I can make a few adjustments, I want to offer the constructs to the orcs. I'm sure they'll make excellent workers. I'll join you up above shortly. Okay. But if you're lying, don't want to get on the wrong side of an orc. As soon as our scouts sent word that people were emerging from the quarry, I hurried down to see what was happening. So, where's that damned elf and what did he do? Well, Neromo found a dwarven ruin under the quarry. Dwarves? That's the last thing I expected. From the stories I've heard, things involving ancient ruins and dwarves never turn out well. Well, the constructs went on a massive rampage. But the elf uh, seems, to, seems to think he can get everything under control. Then the elf survived? Perfect. That means I still get to wring his scrawny neck. Wait a moment. What's that sound? Troll dung, it's the constructs. The damn elf betrayed us. Wait, he just wants to. To arms, my clanmates. Let's show this mad elf what we think of his dwarven army. Don't be alarmed. I bring a gift. These constructs can work your quarry and build the great city of Orsinium. Damn you, elf. I should kill you where you stand. What did I say? Please, my friend, make her see reason. 
He got half my workers killed, and now he insults us as well? The elf's blood price is steep, and he's going to pay it very slowly. Hasn't there been enough blood spilt today? He's, he's just trying to help. Raystone Quarry belongs to Clan Tumnosh. It should be worked by Clan Tumnosh, not those metal monsters. As long as one Tumnosh lives, we'll extract stone from this quarry just the way Malakath intended. And which way is that? With orc sweat and orc muscle. We dishonor ourselves and our ancestors if we sat back and let machines do all the work for us. It figures that an elf would come up with such a disgraceful, dastardly plan. Um, what if he takes them to Aurasinium and never returns here? Do you really think the other clans will accept this tuskless runt and his clockwork pets building the king's precious city? It will divide the Orsimer even more than we already are. And that's saying something. Um, I mean, you could petition to the king, ask him what he wants to... Ask him to decide what he wants to do with the constructs. My Malakath swollen foot, you're an irritating one. But no, I won't have these metal monsters working alongside faithful orcs. Take the constructs to Orsinium if you wish. Just get them out of here. My clan wants nothing more to do. 